Hello YouTube. I'm going to give a quick tour of my uh, packet radio setup with the uh, ubiquitous uh, UB5R. And I'll start with the, uh, the TNC. Uh, this particular model uh, is discontinued so I, I won't spend a ton of time on it because uh, the TNC that you have in your uh, setup would probably be different than this one. Okay, so the main things to talk about here, again, without going into a ton of detail about this specific TNC, since yours will probably be different, uh, the interface to the PC, in this case, uh, DB25 RS232 uh, serial interface port, and then over here, uh, the DIN connector that goes to the radio. So uh, on this particular model, uh, got DIP switches that control uh, the baud rate between uh, the PC and the TNC, as well as the uh, baud rate at which the radio will be sending and receiving. For a bit, a little bit of uh, nostalgia here, I uh, just wanted to point out this uh, lovely Z80 uh, CPU right there and the uh, Z80 SIO controller. So for connecting to the PC, uh, I have this USB to DB9 cable. Now again, I talked about the fact that uh, that TNC has a DB25 connector, so I do have to use this uh, adapter to connect them. So probably the most interesting uh, piece of this whole setup uh, would be this cable, uh, which is specific to the UV5R and for this TNC. I did create this cable myself. I did it by uh, dismantling one of the uh, handheld mics that's specific to the UV5R and then uh, which gave me this this side of it. The other side would have been uh, the mic but I disconnected those wires and then uh, soldered them uh, using the uh, pinout that was described in the manual for the TNC. So um, I will put a link to the website where uh, I got the inspiration uh, for salvaging a microphone in the first place. Uh, I believe that fellow also sells um, completed cables so you don't have to make your own and he also sells the TNC uh, that it works with. One thing he mentioned on his website was uh, possible need to uh, add a resistor uh, in line for the, uh, I believe it was uh, on the transmit TX line. I did not do that. Um, last but not least, you'll notice that I'm not using the rubber duck that the UV5R comes with. Um, I have a couple other uh, antennas that I experimented with. Uh, the one with which I was successful was this one. Uh, it's supposed to be mounted on the back of a vehicle, ideally. Uh, in this case, I'm using the cookie sheet. I actually thought that this file cabinet would be an adequate ground plane. Um, I was surprised that it wasn't and that I couldn't get any of that signal without using the cookie sheet. So uh, I would love to hear comments on that. Um, if anyone wants to help me understand why this metal file cabinet uh, didn't work. The PC in this case is just a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it didn't have to be a Raspberry Pi. I'm not using GPIO or anything. I'm just using uh, the USB port. And uh, it's obviously running Linux. So I'll do a uh, part two video where I uh, fire up Minicom and connect to uh, a packet slash uh, APRS. They're not the same, but the uh, packet's pretty much dead in what I've observed. So uh, pretty much all the only traffic I get is uh, over APRS. So, uh, but it uses the same, same setup. So uh, look for that part two uh, in a few days. Thank you.